The building is haunted. People who work here all the time feel the presence of spirits, uh, if you believe in such a thing. The building has great karma. It's taking care of itself, and I feel I'm just a uh, conduit for it. Yes, I'm Michelangelo Alassa. I'm the artistic director of DMAC Duo Multicultural Arts Center here at 62 East 4th Street in the heart of the East Village Historic District. People walk in here and are astounded that this space exists and that there's wonderful live art happening in this space. This floor was a ballroom until the 30s, and the 30s it was converted into a theater. In the 40s, a lot of dance companies dance here, Catherine Dunham for one. In the 50s, there were a lot of uh, classic New York City crime dramas filmed here. In the late 60s, Andy Warhol had a series of films here. This block was very instrumental in the social activism at the turn of the century. A lot of union movements began here. Uh, for instance, uh, John Philip Sousa started the first musician union meetings here. So it had a lot of activism, had a lot of energy. In the late 60s, um, opportunities for Latinos in theater were slim. We'd have a walk-on in a Tennessee Williams show, maybe. A group of actors basically got together and founded the Duo Theater in 1969 to basically promote and develop new works for and by Latinos in New York City. We moved into this space. It was a uh, third floor walk-up in the same building. Uh, it was rented as is from the city for $27 a month and we started renovating. Having space in New York is everything and giving artists a space to create is our ultimate goal, and that's what we actually do. It's youth culture, basically. When we have an art exhibit, we have 600 people down the block, mostly under 21, who support the work we do here. We have reached out and are basically challenging the young artists of New York to come and play with us. The murals are from 1889, as is the decorative ceiling. We're one of the handful of Latino companies in this country that actually own their own space. So it's really about continuity and about legacy for us. The restoration is to basically anchor this beautiful artwork in this space. Uh, it needs love and care. It has not been touched since 1889. Some of the murals are coming off the walls. They are period. They need love and care. And the tin ceilings, as you can see, some of it are broken, have come down, and they need to be restored also. So our aim is to basically restore the space to the way it looked when it was built in 1889. It's classic New York. Part of this process is to restore the space while keeping the downtown shabby chic, beautiful nature of the space. There's nothing like it in New York. <laughs>